वेलकम बैक आई दिस इज श्रीकांत दिस इज अवर थर्ड वीडियो रिगार्डिंग अ सीरीज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सिनेरियो बेसिक टू एडवांस इन दिस थर्ड इंस्टॉलमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम हियर द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी यूजफुल वाइल वर्किंग विद अ डेटाबेस प्रोग्रामिंग एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द फेवरेट क्वेश्चन व्हेन वी अटेंड इंटरव्यू ग्रेट द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी सिंपल बट इफ यू डोंट नो दैट वुड बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू आंसर ग्रेट द question or the scenario which i am going to explain is let's say you have a table in the table you have a column in the column you have a 100 values great and now my requirement is i want to see all the values that needs to be comma separated right so i want all the value which need to be a comma separated i mean to say i need all the 100 value in a one in a one row is that possible yes of course it is possible okay so question is how to get a comma separated values in a sql this is our today's question and this is our third question for this series great trust me this question is very simple but it is very useful and very important uh, while working with the database or while attending the interview great now to understand this let's have a table so in last video we have created table you can say named it as the we named it as a employee right this query the table let's to verify the table exist or not e employee so this is the table which we have created in a last video this table has 12 rows and three column the first column is emp id emp name and debt id great now i am asking you one simple query here the query is how to get a comma separated employees by department my requirement is i want all the employees of a department then all the employees should be in a comma separated format so how how you do that so for that you need to have a department table because we will join that data to the department that would make more sense so let's let's take the table department okay we have this table let's query this table now okay it has three department now my requirement is i want the i want the list of all employees along with the department data so how would i do that for making a comma separated string you need to first understand that you need to go with the xml function that's a for xml so for example i have select star from employee what i need to do that i only i only need to write here for xml clause and in the for xml i need to pass a blank value right okay and which column i want to be uh, comma separated i want the emp name select the emp name let's try to read this query first i am i am taking the emp emp name from the employee table so my intention is to have all the employee name to be comma separated first to make it more simple then we'll pass filter by the department id and we'll get the employee of each department now to make it more understandable more easy how to do that so you only you need to use for xml path nat and the value which you need to pass is a blank now let's run the query and see what happened now you will see here the tags has been formed because as we have used xml path so xml da xml data would be generated by just writing such query but we don't need tag right so what we need to do we need to write here the comma separated string so i need the data which need to be comma separated by comma so you need to write like this comma okay now let's run the query and see the output now you will see the tags format has been disappeared 
before writing the com comma substring there was the string now this xml string has been converted into a normal string great now there is a one more thing now in this case this employee table has a list of employee sometime it may possible that one employee might have to, might have present two times means the name should be present two times right in that case uh, we need to write distinct this is the final query so this query will give you all the list of employee present in the employee table and all the data is comma separated right but now if you'll go and if you'll observe this data you will find here the first string is the first character is a comma but i don't need that so for that you need to use a stuff function stuff you need to take this as an input to the first parameter as a value for the stuff function then for the first character starting with one you need to replace with a blank just come and select the query now you will see the output these are all the list of employees which are present in the employee table and all the values are comma separated let's try to understand this query once again we have taken a for from employee we have taken the employee table then we uh, use for xml path right and then there we pass the blank value it will convert the data into xml format then we pass the uh, distinct plus the separator and this value got converted into the normal string but there was a problem the first character or the first value was comma which we don't need it so we use the stuff function to replace the comma with a blank Great. now if we'll select this query and if we'll run this query we'll see here emp name emp all the employees are comma separated value right and if we'll come and if we'll see the department table you will find here the department has a three value now what we need to do here is we need to copy this query write it here i want now my requirement is i want all the list of employees or all the list of employees which belong to each department so it means that i need to pass the department id right so this is a query but here the condition i need to pass is department id give some alias this is emp2 or one or emp that's fine because we are using only once i am writing emp dot department id should be equal to a and a is alias for department table a dot department id just copy it paste it here great now run the query now you will see here the first department is department id 1 which has a department name it it has a four employee and starting with one two three four second department is a department 2 the name is bi and it has employee named it has 1 11 21 31 4 1 1 these are all the employees right next is three department and named it as admin hr it has also have four employee great now you can see here this is the derived data which i generated from another table so sometime people will ask you please give me the list of all the employees or please give me the list of all the ids which belongs to one category sometime we have a data called as a master data and that master data has the child data in another table like department and the employee right so people will ask you give me the list of distinct values in that case we need to use the employee table so okay the question was how to get a comma separated value in sql i hope you guys understood the concept also you guys understood how to write the query for better result and i think this is really simple one and i don't think you guys have any problem with this for xml path or the comma separated value query this was our third video and hope you guys like and enjoyed it if you guys like and enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe and share with your community and thanks for watching have a great day